I need to talk about something very important about partial measurement. We already learned the measurement, we learned the projection operator, which is fine. But now I have a, a lot, a, a two qubit, right? Let's just review, right? For a single qubit, right? Maybe I have psi equal to alpha zero plus beta one, and then I measure. What, can, what will I get if I do a measurement on this in the basis? One or zero. Yes, it will collapse, right? Remember, it will collapse to zero or one. With what probability? You have done the assignment, alpha square or beta square, right? With probability, alpha square, beta square. That is okay, good. Now you have a two qubit system. Then, of course, it can be a linear combination of four states. Right? This A one zero. And then A one one. Right? If I do a measurement, what happens? If I measure, okay, both qubits, right? I'm measuring the both of the qubits. What are the possibility? What will I get? Very good. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. You only have these four possible outcome, right? Collapse. It collapsed to the basis state. That's very wrong. This is not difficult. For example, this corresponds to A00 square. This one, you have a chance of A10 square, right? Now, what if I don't do measure both of them? I just if... Huh? I say the wrong. Okay. One, one. Thank you. I just, okay. I only measure, let's say the first qubit. I have the liberty to do that. I have two electrons, right? I instead of measure, I just measure not that. What are the possibility? Okay. Well, the first qubit can collapse to either zero or one, right? Because I only measure one of them. It's almost like a, it's not a good job, but let's say I like two girls, right? Both them, I don't know if they like me or not, right? They are linear combination. I only ask one girl, then only the state of that girl will collapse to either zero or one, right? Not both of them. Correct? Okay. Now, what is the prob for example, what is the probability of getting zero? I'm measuring the first one. What is the probability? No, no, no. I have this equation. You say it's A00 square plus A01 square. Do you agree? Can you explain why? Right, right, very good. Or I, I try not to say the whole system collapsed because the second system has not collapsed yet. But you are right. I would say the first qubit collapsed to zero. There are two ways it can collapse. One is the system collapsed to zero, zero. Another is the system collapsed to zero, one. Both of them will give me the measurement of zero. And this is the so-called partial measurement which is very important. 
Yeah? Now, what the wave function will be after this measurement? What will it be? It will become A0000 plus A0101. Okay, after it collapsed. Because it doesn't have the one component anymore for the first two bit. So when you have a partial measurement, then you have the basis that with the basis that corresponding to the collapse of the first qubit still remain. Others will be gone. Is this correct? Why? Very good. He said that the probability does not sum up to one now. Because originally, this is normalized. Originally, A00 square plus A01 square plus A10 square. Maybe I should even write here, right? We have, for this case, we have alpha square plus beta square equal to one. We normalize all vector in quantum computing. Here we have A00 square plus A01 square plus A10 square plus A11 square sum to one. So now, if you write in this, it's no longer e to the one. So what do we need to do? We need to re-normalize very quick. Re How do you re-normalize? Can you guess? Very silly. Very good. Divided by the length, right? What is the length? A00 square plus A01 square. Yeah. Very good. Ah, you, you guys know a lot. So we will stop here. Uh, the progress is okay today. Okay.